denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. You ready? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Trying to establish that jab once again. Good stick. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Shot a double leg. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Working off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guards. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and train down big strikes in your point. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. And both guys really throwing with authority. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Punch is blocked. And he landed the right hand there. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. All right, he gets the takedown here. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Let's see if he can secure top position after working so hard for that takedown. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. 
Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Choi. Close guard. Boach gets up. He is back on the feet here. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Nice punch there by Boach. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, that right hand is on point. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Misses again with a right punch. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. That landed. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eight. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Choi gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. All right, single collar tie now. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Straight right, he misses. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, he goes to the counter right just out of range. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Great taste of high punches taking for right. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now, maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Back to his feet. Oh, what a punch. Right hand on point. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, but I'm taking the aggression and the output. And Another beautiful takedown win. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Boach ground and pound from half guard. Oh, nice job working hard, posting and getting back up. Ooh, what a punch. 
Coach, his lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Back and forth we go. Beautiful kick. Defense there, the hook shot is blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. It's never looked this good. And there comes the separation now. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job. And it doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Try to establish that jab. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. Oh, another takedown secured by Bush. Both fighters get up now. Throwing that jab, no good. Just missed with the left there. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Able to land with the left hand there. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Fantastic time. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Able to land the single ground strike there. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture. Throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Oh, big punch land. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Huge knee land. Wild attempt with the right hand there. 
Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to show up the defense here, though. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing. Oh, nice shot by him there to get the takedown. I would think that gets the Olympians' stamp of approval. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What a fantastic job of getting the takedown when you need it. Working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Nice punch by Boach. Beautiful leg kick throw. Blocks the shot. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Choi. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there. Oh, huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down. Oh, he might be out. starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Take down landed now by Boach. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Nice punch here. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Wow! What a round. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. Boom, body kick right there, landed perfect. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice leg kick. Nice punch there by Boach. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Coach's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Slip to avoid that right hand. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Just watch the ability to land from anywhere. Blocks the shot. 
Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Worked hard for that single leg takedown. No good. Nice punch, Lynch. Single collar tie now. Left hand punch with the clinch. Big kick land. Right on the button. All right, so he continues to law. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. That's how you finish a fight. Both guys landing with conviction now. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high block. Oh. Nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the front. I mean, right there. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> That's right. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by the Korean Super Bowl. This is not as dangerous as it used to be in fighting. You know, before, guys are trying to sit in that full guard. Right now, it's just more dangerous for you on top because guys have so many submissions that they can attempt from this position. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Lands the right hand. Choi gets back up again. Good punch, Land. Oh! Final minute now of round four. Lands with the right hand. Another thing now, Land. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, half guard now. Not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter. What does he need to do? He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key things you can do as a bottom fighter stuck in half guard is try to frame. You frame and push your opponent away from you. By pushing him away from you, he will then want to come back into you. Right. It's like when I push you back, you want to go forward. So as he comes forward, hand goes off the face, let it slip into an underhook, build up to your elbow, then go chase your single leg. This is high-level grappling, John, from a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt named Daniel Cormier. Woo! <laughs> All right, next round getting underway here, and both That's fighters still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the party. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Whiffs off the straight right hand. Great punch. Now connects with a right. Real quick leg kick. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. 
Oh, nice strike landed there by the Korean Super Bowl. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. I mean, he's cut them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss. Oh! Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. We'll see how he chooses to defend here. Joy going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight-ending intentions. Coach has got the full mount. All right, side control now. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. What a punch. to end this fight, it landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming, and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory that could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Lugliano is going to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 22 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage.